Good morning, friends. You are currently sitting right on my coffee table and I'm sitting on the floor getting ready to head out to the gym. So John and I, I think we're gonna go to Iron Revolution, which is like 45 minutes away. So I'm kind of rushing because we do have dinner reservations tonight. And of course I'm late to everything. So I'm just packing up my gym bag now, getting a meal together. I'm taking my, my Sony a7 III. I also am bringing my microphones so that I can take you guys through this workout, kind of just like talk through it a little bit. I like it better than doing voiceovers and Hopefully I can get content for both you guys on YouTube and my TikTok slash Instagram. It's really hard because you gotta like move the camera around. So I just, I don't know, we're kind of in a time crunch today. I really wanna go to Iron Revolution today. I feel like a lot of my friends have been going there recently and I just wanna see them and like say hi. But um, just given the time, it's already 12.40. I was supposed to be at John's house at 12, but that did not happen. And our dinner reservations are at 6.30. So Iron Revolution is 45 minutes away. So even if we left like at one o'clock, we get there probably like around two, train until like, we'd have to leave at like four. And I know you're probably like, oh, like two hours. That's plenty of time. I have my upper body session. I have abs, I have cardio, plus I'm filming. So it's gonna take a little bit longer. And we have to leave at four because we have to get home by five in order to get ready for dinner because dinner is at 6.30 and we have to leave at six because it's 30 minutes away in the city. This is how girls think. Girls, you can relate. It's like, oh, I have dinner at 6.30, which means I need to get ready. We need to leave at six, which means I need to get ready by five, which means we need it. Like, it's just a whole, like, I work backwards, but it is what it is. I just, today is my only day to sleep in because tomorrow, I'm taking you guys with me, hopefully, and we are going to go to an 8 a.m. hot yoga session because your girl needs it. And one of my resolutions to myself was that I was going to work on my recovery more than I do, like really prioritize it. I feel like I could always, you can always be better, right? And I feel like I don't do a bad job. I'm very good at listening to my body, but taking those extra steps I think will be very helpful. So. I signed myself up for a class tomorrow. I tried to convince John to go, but he said it's at 8 a.m., so there's no way. So I'm gonna go by myself, and I'm hoping that they're all super nice and like, don't judge me, because I've never done yoga, and I'm probably like, terrible. But anyway, it was my only day to sleep in this weekend. I feel like the weekends I catch up on sleep. During the week, I only get like, seven-ish hours with work and everything, so it's kind of like my time to catch up. And I don't like sleeping in, but my body just, needs it sometimes so today was my day i just kind of like laid in bed until 10 wasting my day away but you know it is what it is we are at psa his home gym not my favorite but like also not bad i don't know he's texting his girls his other girlfriend shut up <laughs> i hate when you say that so i brought a strawberry watermelon one and a lemon lime and I was gonna let him pick but he didn't pick either one of them because he took his pre-workout instead so I chose lemon lime and it's so good it tastes so good I don't know how the energy is gonna be um because obviously it's my first time but you tried it too and you liked it right yeah it was pretty good give it like a seven and a half out of ten yeah, so we'll see what happens he's the ingredient guy he worked at a supplements shop he knows it's stuff when it comes to that. So he read it, he said it was pretty good. I'm gonna take his word for it. But I've had no water today, so this isn't good. I'm gonna blow it up. Anyway, look at this eagle. Okay. Crew neck is from Alpha Lee, code Kiri, saves you 10%. Shorts are navigation dupes, and I have my platform converse. Let's get it. All right, guys, starting off with straight arm lat pull downs. These help me activate my lats before getting into the workout. So I'm gonna do sets of like 15 to 20, super high rep, just to get them nice and activated. The key to these is not to let your arms come all the way up, just until you get a good stretch in your lats and then come back down. So you don't want to do burp. You want to just go till you get a good stretch. I'm supposed to be doing Smith machine at Ben Over Rose, but some people are using it and they haven't even started their actual working sets. They're still warming up. So we are 
not gonna do that. I'm gonna use this machine instead, this standing row thing. I've done it before and I like it, but that was a while ago, so we're gonna see how it works out. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. I can't reach the other one. This was not made for short people. Starting off with a set of 15, and then I'm going to increase the weight and lower the reps. So 15, 12, and then eight to 10. for back, but I feel like this hits my lats like crazy. Three sets of 15 to 20. Oh, shoot. So I got 15, 15, and then 20 with this weight last week. Honestly, I should increase it because that's kind of easy. With these, you really want to make sure that you're driving your elbow to like your hips. Shoulder press, I am doing three sets of 10 to 12. I have the bench at a slight incline. I don't like it straight up and straight down for dumbbell shoulder press. With these, you want to make sure that you're keeping your shoulders in the scapular plane while you're doing this. So you don't want your positioning at like straight 90 back here, but rather the scapular plane is a little bit more towards like a 45 degree angle here. So again, not here, here. I also come to about parallel, about 90 degrees, maybe a tiny bit lower, but you don't want to bring the weight all the way down here and then try to push it back up. My wrist straps are cutting off my circulation, so we're gonna get this going. And then use your knees to kick the dumbbells up so you're not trying to like lift it from here. So ready? One, two. tricep exercise of choice. I prefer tricep pull downs, push downs on the cable with a rope, but you can do anything you'd like. You can do overhead, you can do skull crushers, kickbacks, really anything you want. I'm doing three sets of 15 on here. You wanna make sure that you don't come all the way up like this and then back down. You wanna come to about parallel and then push back down, really flexing those triceps. for some abs. So I'm gonna do three sets of rope crunches and then three sets of hanging leg raises, both 15 to 20 reps. The rope crunches, you really wanna make sure that you are flexing your abs as hard as possible at the bottom, really squeezing, coming back up, stretching them out. Because one time when I was at the gym, I was doing these 
and I don't know if it just wasn't secure, but someone on the lat pull down beside me, like over here, slammed their weight up when they were done and it shook the whole cable. And then this thing unattached and fell down on my head while I was doing rope crunches. It like literally hit me in the back of the head. So I always like triple check now, make sure that we are good. I gotta show you the OOTD for both of us. Yeah, look at how hot she is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all of that. And then. <laughs> it's so cute. Wait, you gotta tell where it's from. <laughs> my dress is from Shein because that seems to be where everything's from. I promise I don't shop there a lot. I just. The only thing that brought me happiness on prep, besides obviously spending time with you, oh, she had to put that in. Good shit. Was shopping, online shopping. We just finished dinner and then went back to my apartment. I changed into comfier clothes. I literally feel so bloated right now. <laughs> I hate eating off plan because I of the way that I feel after, but I love having that little balance. So I am very excited to sweat this all out tomorrow during this hot yoga session, but I'm also nervous because I drank like no water today. But guys, where else would we be for dessert other than... It's 7.52. I left a little later than I would have liked. I kind of wanted to get there like early. I'm getting there about five minutes before class is supposed to start, so not ideal. But I'm nervous. I'm actually so nervous. I've never done a yoga class before in my life. I've never gone to anything like this because I feel like everyone in there is going to be so experienced. So now if I ever forget what it's like to be like nervous to start in the gym, I'll just do something like this and it'll remind me how like scary it is to try something new that everyone is like experienced at. I am a sweaty mess now. It was so hot in there, it got up to 100 degrees and then I walked outside and it's 29. So I was sweating and I was nice and warm and feeling good and now I'm freezing, like I'm shaking. It was really, really good. It was definitely way hard. Like the instructor moved like very fast. It's like she's going through all these flows and she's like really just moving fast and I'm like trying to watch her. I ended up getting there like five minutes before so of course like the only spots open are the ones right up front. And I was like, ah oh, geez, like I didn't want to be like right up front but it is what it is, it was really nice. The girl next to me I like I walked in and there was a mat in the back and I was like oh like I'll just sit here and um, this girl walked in behind me and she's like oh that's for me and I was like oh okay that's fine so then I walked up to the front and I was like hey is this like reserved for anyone and she's like no and I was like oh well it's my first time here blah 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 and she's like oh like welcome like um, her she's such a good instructor it's really hard and I'm like oh good great <laughs> like awesome um, it was difficult, but it wasn't anything like I couldn't manage like it was it's definitely gonna take some practice I'm very used to like lifting and Kind of not holding my breath when I lift but like bracing my core and not breathing like I should So when I'm moving through these movements I feel like I was holding my breath a lot and not really following her like inhale exhale cues but towards the end I got it so that was good um, definitely gonna sign up again but she said like oh it's your first time like uh, we ask that you leave your phone out here and so I was like okay so I brought my camera in with me I hope I didn't damage it by having it in like a hundred degree <laughs> heat for an hour I brought my camera in with me but again one I was in the front row I was between two people I was just like not able to set my camera up and then even when you saw like when I tried to film at the end and just say hi, um, it was foggy as hell in there. Yeah, all in all it was really good. I'm really excited about it. I think I'm definitely going to try to do that like once a week. I like doing it on Sunday mornings because I feel super productive now and I feel like 
can take on the day. All right guys, sorry for like the super harsh lighting. That is going to conclude this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I couldn't show you more of the yoga. That was really what I wanted to do, but I do plan on doing it once a week. So at some point, I hope I'm able to get like a little bit better of like videos. Please let me know in the comments below what you wanna see next or hit me up on Instagram or TikTok. As always, I will put the app right here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know you stopped by because I really want to connect more with you guys on here. All right, guys, until next time, I'll see ya.